2017-2018 opens up for Ohio women's basketball this upcoming Sunday, and it's against High Point in a rematch of last year's season opener. This time High Point will be on the roundhouse off of Richland Avenue. Hi there, my name is Jake Hermata for Bobcat TV, and Ohio's young this year. They graduated the most winningest class in program history last spring, so that means this year there will be a lot of fresh new faces looking to make household names for themselves, and that experience is going to be key come January when Mid-American Conference play starts. Ohio women's basketball ends 2017 on a high note today after a 78-61 win over the Toledo Rockets. The Bobcats start 2018, 1-0 in MAC play, and improve to 7-5 on the season. Hi there, my name is Jake Hermata for Bobcat TV. The turning point in this game was the third quarter. The Bobcats outscored Toledo by 14 points and offensively they exploded for 29 points. The Bobcats were led by Dominique Dosick today. She had a career high, 27 points. The Athens native was nine for 12 from the field. She was five for seven from the perimeter today. The biggest thing today in the stats column was probably the rebounds. And for a second straight game, Ohio tied their opponent in the rebounds column. Today, Ohio and Toledo had 37 rebounds apiece. And Bob Bolin said in his five years here, he is probably Never been close to Toledo when it comes to the rebounding battle, but the Bobcats have really improved in that aspect as well. Boy, was it a fun finish for Ohio women's basketball today. In overtime, the Bobcats got it done 70-67 to against their Mac East foe in Akron. And alongside Gabriel Genovese, my name's Jake Hermata, and the Bobcats gave in overtime, ended it on an 8-0 run. That was key to pick up this win today. Two regional rivals will collide tonight and add another chapter to their long historic rivalry. It's Marshall and the home team Ohio Bobcats tonight in Athens. Hi there and welcome into our broadcast today on ESPN3. Alongside my broadcast partner, Gabriel Genovese, my name is Jake Cremata. And Gabriel, a long rivalry between Ohio and Marshall. You kind of love rivalries. This will be fun tonight. And both teams have something to prove tonight. Big upset win today for Ohio women's basketball, handing Ball State just their fourth loss of the season. Ohio, a 80-76 winner today on the Ball State Cardinals. Hi there, welcome into our post-game recap. This is Gabe Genovese. My name is Jake Cremata and Gabe. What a performance. The Bobcats, I feel like they faced double the adversity with the amount of in-game injuries they were going on and also without Amani Burke today. Well, with a sty in her eye, Sierra Hooks on a game-winning steal, drive, and basket propels Ohio in not really comeback fashion, but boy, was it a uh, dramatic one in the last 40 seconds. A 77-75 win for the Bobcats against Northern Illinois. Hi there and welcome into our post-game recap on Bobcat TV. This is Gabe Genovese. My name's Jay Cremata, and Gabe, those last 40 seconds, my goodness, it was a whirlwind. The Bobcats led by three possessions. Lo and behold, Northern Illinois comes back to, to tie it at 75, and as I mentioned, a dramatic finish by Hooks the second time this season she's done that game-winning steel drive in basket. At 5-5 five and five in Mid-American Conference play and sitting at 7th overall in the Mid-American Conference standings, Ohio Volleyball returns home to the friendly confines at the Convocation Center this Friday, Saturday, for their second-to-last weekend in Athens. Hi there, for Bobcat TV, my name's Jake Cremata, and the Bobcats have split every Mid-American Conference weekend this season, and certainly it would be big for the Bobcats to finally grab that 2-0 weekend, especially against a team in Akron who the Bobcats have already beaten earlier on this year, and a squad in Buffalo who, at 6-4 in Mid-American Conference play, have gotten the best of the Bobcats already this year. We're previewing Ohio women's basketball 2017-2018 this afternoon. I'm alongside Bob Bullen, fifth year head coach for Ohio women's basketball, and coach, we're we're at Texas Roadhouse today, and as much as I love talking at your office uh, before every game and before every season, I figured we, we would change it up and, and maybe uh, eat some eat some rolls, have some steak here at Texas Roadhouse today. And if it, we eat at a Texas we eat at Texas Roadhouse, it seems like every other road trip anyway. So this is, I feel like this is like your third office, maybe. That's one of my favorites. One of your <laughs> well, another close one for Ohio women's basketball tonight. A 79 to 78 win today for Ohio women's basketball to get them to. 15 wins on the season. That's on the fourth straight year that the Bobcats have had 15 wins or more in a season. Hi there, welcome into our post game recap on Bobcat TV. This is Gabe Genovese. My name's Jake Cremata, and Gabe, Bob Bolton joked with us uh, immediately to, to, start, uh, <laughs> to start our interview with him. He said, hey, you know what? I don't think we've ever really been in this situation before. No, we haven't been here, you know, six, seven, eight times, a one possession ball game down the stretch. And well, to go back to CeCe Hooks, nine steals today, tied career high. 
And with those nine steals, she came in tied for the single season record at 86, but boy, she blew up for nine today. For the fourth straight season, Ohio women's basketball returns to Cleveland after their first round win over Akron in the Mid-American Conference Tournament today, 85 to 73 win over the Zips. Hi there and welcome into our post-game recap on Bobcat TV along with Gabe Genovese. My name's Jay Kermada and Gabe and Akron was just hitting tough shot after tough shot and you got to give kudos to the Bobcats for hanging in there for one and for two going to Cleveland for a fourth straight season despite these last three games and the way they've gone. Women's basketball is underway in 2018 and two Mac East foes collide this afternoon. It's Ohio and Akron where Ohio has won the last seven straight contests. Hi there and welcome up to our broadcast position today on ESPN3 alongside my partner Tony Rush. My name's Jay Kermada and Tony, for, through the first two games in MAC play, Ohio is split, but Akron's still looking for that first initial win in conference play. Well, they are. And on the Ohio side, it's the freshman Sierra Hooks, highest scoring freshman in the MAC with over 12 points a game. Uh, she's doing a phenomenal job of reading the floor. I'm impressed with how she's progressed. And for Bob Bolden's Ohio Bobcats today, they're probable lineups. And you'll notice that our key impact player, Sierra Hooks, isn't in this lineup. But she's not, but that's just showing what she can do coming in off the bench. Ohio ended the third quarter on a 12-2 run. They got it done underneath, Tony. Oh, they did. And again, with some interior passing there, nice little shovel pass. But also on the defensive end, they created some defensive turnovers and another one right there. Good defensive stops. The Ohio Bobcats were down 14 points with under seven minutes left to go in the third quarter. Now they have a one-point lead on the Akron Zips entering the final quarter of today's game. Burris can't hit. Agler gets it back, blows the layup. And Akron trying to regain their lead. Down low, blocked from behind. Exploding from the weeds, Dominique Dosik. Well, that's just a great contest right there by Dosik. Akron trying to push the ball up the floor a little bit, but good transition defense by Ohio. Dosik only with one point today, but contributing on the other end. Well, good job there again. You had the offense get underneath, and right there, another steal there by Agler. Here's Agler to a cutting Burris, scores! Now that's good Don't pressure off the inbounds defensively by Ohio. Agler coming up with the loose ball, and that's just great transition there, good execution, a good finish by Burris. Even though the Bobcats were down 14 to start this the third quarter, end of the third quarter, up one, getting the home crowd into it, the Bobcats may have the momentum. No, they absolutely do, but they outscored Akron 12 to two at one point. Another Akron Zips turnover, 24 total today. But that's Ohio's bread and butter, Tony, forcing turnovers and converting those turnovers to points because they're undersized and they're fast. Absolutely, and that's what we talked about at the beginning is what was gonna be one of the keys, and that was for Akron to be able to take care of the basketball. And in Ohio's last loss to Central Michigan, the Chippewas took away the turnovers and the points off turnovers. And the Bobcats fell 82-58. How impressive has Shayna Harmon been today, scoring left of the rim. Uh, that's just a nice job of pushing the ball up the floor. And the defense was on her back. And that's just a great finish there with the left hand by Harmon. Now it's Akron trying to play catch up. Down a point to Ohio. 44-43. Eight minutes, 10 seconds left in the, in the fourth. And Agler almost got the roll off the back of the rim. A nice job there going at the defense. This is going to be the 18th free throw attempt this afternoon for Ohio, compared to only four from Akron. That just goes to show how much Ohio is actually attacking the basket. Agler hits the first free throw, and I mentioned it earlier in this game, but Agler didn't take any free throws when she was fouled, but nine for 10 in her last four games from the line, 56% on the season, so that just goes to show, turn around, I need to hit my free throws. Absolutely. Can't connect on the second. Well, the senior, she needs to be scoring, you know, from the line like that. She's getting to the line. Now you got to score. Akron down two points. Can't tie it there. Offensive board. Barry connects from mid range. We're tied at 45. Yeah, that was well executed by Akron. They had the space and they worked the triangle, the strong side and then post and then high post and get a little reversal and, uh, and then a, a rebound 
off of that. Nice. Offensive foul, calling on Amani Burke. Yep, she extended that arm, trying to push that defense Amani away. Burke Good defense by Akron. Burke with a little shot fake, a little jab and cross, and it just got that left elbow and pushed off just enough. Good job, yeah, by Harmon to shuffle her feet. And Amani Burke with three personal fouls, each team with one foul in the fourth quarter. Deadlocked it, 45, 7.30 remaining in the fourth quarter. Ohio trailed by as much as 14 in the beginning of the third quarter. Blocked down low. CC hooks for Ohio. Barker can't connect. Saved inbounds by Burke. Ohio with the refresh shot clock. Yeah, oh, that's just great effort defensively and offensively by Ohio. Burke from downtown, too strong. Foul on the rebound, and it's on Akron. That's going to be a tough call right there. I know Akron's not going to be happy with that call. And yeah, Jody Kest at the end of her coach's box. For first, second on the team. It's on Alyssa Clay. That's her first. Ohio's lone senior, Agler. Barker from deep. Too strong. She is not connected on a three today. And she's Ohio's second best three-point shooter. Well, absolutely. But, you know, they have to stay with what's been working. What's been working has been attacking, going at the basket. You know, and you're working too hard on the defensive end to get yourself back in the ball game, taking the lead. Now it's tied up. But you've gone back-to-back -back possessions and haven't scored. But they've tried to get it done from the three-point line. Get the ball on the inside. Stay with what's been working. Sierra Hooks, a little too handsy once again. Now she's in foul trouble, Tony. She's got four. Absolutely. Just a little too much reaching today for Hooks. 45-45 tie, 6.20 approaching, fourth quarter clock. Akron has not beaten Ohio in the last seven meetings. This will be their first win in Athens since 2013-14. And Amani Burke this time underneath. She now has four personals. So, Ohio's two leading scorers, Tony, four personal fouls. Well, let me tell you something. Jody Kess is a great coach. Look for Akron to be going at those two players to potentially draw their fifth foul. But Shayna Harmon, nice job, one-on-one -on -one work. She gets the spin. She goes right at Burke. Flirts with the rim and goes on the first. Shayna Harmon. 13 points for Harmon. She leads the Zips today. Six for nine from the floor. That's her first free throw. And Bolden did pull Amani Burke from this game and entered Dominique Dosik. Second one goes for Harmon. She's got 14 today, the zips high. And Akron regains the two point lead, 47 45. Shayna Harmon has a career high, new career high. Hooks missed the layup. Here come the zips. Harmon again, off the window and in. Now, Harmon doing a nice job of attacking, but she's well above her average. Only three points a game. Hooks wide open lane. Too strong off the glass. Akron trying to expand their four point lead. They were down a point entering the fourth quarter. They couldn't hang on to a 14 point lead late in the third. Teardrop can't go for Akron's Clay. Dosik rips away the rebound. Ohio just needs to settle in and work their possession here. Move the ball, keep their spacing. Agler tries from three. Three balls today, two for 27, Ohio. Blocking foul on Dosik. Transition defense not getting back. Number one, you have to stop the ball. Number two, you have to get matched up. 51-45 lead for the Zips as we enter this media timeout midway through the fourth quarter. 4.54 remaining. Zips on a 6-0 run. They've regained the lead. We'll be right back from the convo in Athens.